Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. It is day four, and we are down to the final six. This is our one of two B-side matches left to play. We have Christina Zlativa and Su Chen Wei. So she is actually in our bracket, said Su Chen Wei. She doesn't mind if you say Wei Su Chen. Either way is fine with her, but should be a great match. Bulgaria versus Taiwan. So they just did lag. Looks like Christina won the lag, so she's going to be first to break. Our other match that is just beginning on the table next to this one is Christina Tikach versus Margaret Fefalova, which should also be a great match. We will keep the live score screen going so that we can uh, update you on that score as it progresses as well. So good morning. It's 10 a.m. on a Sunday and it's cold in Iowa. I am happy to report though that the sun is out today, so that makes me smile. We're ready to go. Both of these uh, players are ranked very high on WPA rankings. Uh, obviously both world known international players um, play in every every big event that there is, including uh, the WPBA here in uh, North America. So Christina had a great break there with an excellent shot on the one, easily uh, maneuverable to get to the two ball. She wants to try to get on the right side of the two because where the four is located, so not to go too far. There we go. So she can roll up for an angle on the four. Take it on to the five. Six is in a, this is a good table. Good morning, good morning. Really nice speed control here. A um, little straight on the five. It actually just may be, a, be able to draw straight back for the six. Just a speed control shot here. Yeah, it was just a tiny little angle. Good enough to, to get to the six, although I do not think she likes queuing over the eight ball if she is right here. And she is. So that's a little unfortunate, but she'll just have to bear down and pocket the ball. Seven's in the center of the table, lots of pockets to make that one. Nicely done, heart of the pocket. Really smooth execution there. So this shot's kind of where you have an angle this way, and it, it's not an issue to go short side for the eight ball, which is what I would do. You don't want to put too much draw on this. You really just want to try to kind of, not a drag stroke per se, but just just gently hold the ball and just have it slide over. It's just really just knowing your stroke and yeah, so there, beautifully. That's an excellent, excellent job. I like the little angle that she's left herself here on the eight. That way she can pocket the eight and get the cue ball off the rail for the nine. And it is just a center ball. There's really nothing required here. Little 
kind of like a stop shot right there and pop that cue ball off the rail. Looks like she is straight in pretty much on the nine ball. Nicely done. Draws first blood, Christina's Lativa. Alternating break format. This uh, part of the event is still a race to eight. We'll have an extended race in the final. Really nice break and run from Christina there. Well, okay. Uh, Weiwei's not going to be happy with that little bit of uh, luck not in her favor. <laughs> uh, she can't see the one ball there. She's kind of deciding where might be a good place to push to. Be really careful here. And I don't think, I don't know if the. Oh, I wonder what that looks like. Uh, yeah, she can see it. But I don't, goes, I don't think it goes past the four. Well, it doesn't. There's, I don't think it does. It doesn't go past the four. So. I have to figure out. So she's tracking. Where would the cue ball go exactly if she was? She hit that thin on the right side of the ball. What I'm trying to figure out is whether or not she has enough room to thin that and put the cue ball up here behind maybe the eight or nine. I just don't think she has a lot. I think way way pushed to a place where she's forced to to hit that ball a little full which would be a lot more difficult safety if she has to hit that ball full or maybe she's going to hit it full and because she has to and launch the the one ball up and not yeah oh look at this yeah that was the option yeah because she couldn't thin it it's well done very well done she really wanted that cue ball to just do about one two more rotations there and hide not hide but freeze up against the back of that four that would have been a a, a safety pretty hard to get out of. Well, she's having to jack up here so she can put a bit more on the ball in order to curve around the eight ball to get to the one. And she put too much on it. And around the world it went. So she unfortunately is giving ball in hand to Christina on a very open table. My partner in crime just showed up. She had to have an extra cup of coffee before coming in this morning. Nicely done there. 
getting around all that traffic for the two ball. Let's see what kind of angle she's got if we can. So she's got a little bit of a of the wrong side of the two. So she can roll up and go short side for the three, or she can try to put some inside English, hit the rail, and come straight back out to the center of the table. Whatever she prefers. She's going to do whatever she feels more confident in. Short side it is. That's definitely the easier way. I wanted to pop that cue ball out enough to give her an angle here. Again, try to get the, the cue ball off the rail for the five. Making it look easy, ladies and gentlemen. So she opted to draw back there a little bit to put the five in the side instead of getting uh, maybe the wrong angle on the five into the corner pocket. A really good choice. So this is just a simple float up to the top rail and bring the cue ball back out to the center of the table. She'll probably put just a little bit of outside on this. Not a whole lot. Probably a half a tip to the right versus center. Just to try to get it to pull back a little and not not go that way. We don't want to sh well, she didn't put a whole lot of, of outside on that. I probably would have put just a tad bit more so that it avoided a back cut here. But she can uh, shoot the seven ball with just draw and slide the cue ball over towards the side pocket, right before the side pocket, and back out. That's a great shot. Really good speed. Really, really good speed. Almost straight in. She's just going to pocket this ball and pull the cue ball back about an inch or two for a more straight angle on the, on the nine. About two inches. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love it. All right. So that was uh, that was another rack on the board because of the safe of the cue ball behind the four. Um, well done. So everybody, if you have a blurry screen, I actually have it up on another device, a couple devices here, um, and it's clear for me. So I might want to maybe close it out and go back into it or something because uh, I've got a very clear screen, no blur at all, actually on my, uh, my phone right here in front of me. So somebody says Lonnie slacking. She will beg to differ right now. She's working really hard <laughs> to make sure everybody has access to this stream. So let's see. Can we make that two ball pass the five? We cannot. I am pretty sure it does not go. And my view is not exactly perfect there. It doesn't go. So look at that break. She made two balls. Spread the balls out really nicely. And... Uh, She's looking at that. What does she do? Hmm. Okay, she's got a plan. 
think she I think she's gonna just I don't know the safety here is really hard if you're rolling in the cue ball up to the five um, yeah so she chose because rolling the cue ball and kind of trying to freeze it, freeze it up against the five just leaves a one rail kick to the corner pocket if you end up pushing the two towards the corner pocket. So she opted to go the other way and launch the two around, which is a good choice. But I think she hit it, uh, not think, I know, she hit it a little bit too hard because Weiwei's got uh, side of the ball. Good morning, Jerry. Going to give a shout out to Jerry Stuckert, who is on the board of directors for the WPBA. And even though he's not uh, here with us, face to face, he's here with us in spirit and uh, been doing quite a bit from from his chair at his computer um, to help us out. So thank you, Jerry. So Weiwei did try to pocket that ball. Um, she had great shape on the four. She just undercut it just a tad. She was really trying, I think, just to control the speed. So she didn't uh, put a whole lot in there. It was a really finesse shot. And the problem with this is um, the two ball is far enough out of the pocket that going rail first to the left is not an option. So you just cannot gate. It's just not easily makeable that way just because it's far out of the pocket to the right. So the one rail kick and coming at the ball, the direction it's lying to go into the pocket, this is the better choice. Um, it looks like it's pretty close to the rail, so she's just got to try to attempt to pocket that cue ball. Okay, so she didn't, but she did get fortunate. She hit the ball, good contact, so not a foul. Um, and Weiwei can just absolutely bank this back to the pocket she's uh, queuing next to, um, or she can play safe. Whatever she prefers, offense or defense, take your pick. How about just the bank? So that's what I thought. It just looked like there was plenty enough room off of the rail, um, the two ball, to easily execute that bank. Sorry for going on mute there for just a second. There's some noise going on in the art center that we're at. I wasn't prepared for. Um, what's the Oh, very, very calculated there to get the cue ball to come back to the center of the table without hitting the nine. If it had hit the nine, she would be in a very different position right now. But, uh, Weiwei's going to get on the board here. All right. Trying to close the gap.
Sorry about that, folks. So Weiwei here, just making nice, clear work of this rack. Weiwei is such a perfectionist. I know they all are, but I've seen Weiwei do shots that I would, I was, I'm not creative enough to have even thought of and do cue ball placement so precise it does land on a dime. And um, I actually have one on video from the virtual tournaments that I did and she picked a little teeny space within about four balls to go through and made it perfect and just never seen anything like it. I like how she chose to hit that ball. Just nice and smooth. She had a little steep angle, so instead of risking having to hit it with a bit more speed to draw out of it, she chose to follow through. It's obviously the better choice. She got a wonderful, perfect shape here on the nine. Just notice how relaxed her hand and arm are as she strokes the shot. Just not really putting a whole lot into it, just the way that it should be. I'm really confident too, which is great. So, keeping this match close. I like it a lot. All right, so Christine up to break here. Oh, come on, a bounce ball, I like this. So that's a really steep angle on the one, I, un I understand, but she made two balls on the break, has a clear shot on the one ball, so step one complete. So I do see a question in the chat about Jennifer Breda. No, she did not retire. Actually, she owns Skyline Billiards uh, in New York, and she is taking uh, the year to work on her business. Um, so we all here at the WPBA uh, pulling for her, whatever it is she's got planned. Maybe she's expanding, um, you know, gonna be adding some new things to her pool room, um, but she's, uh, she has to work, so she's going to do some things there for a little while just this year. I can guarantee you uh, Miss Beretta will be back. And actually, this is Angela. I don't think Lonnie and I have the same voice. I really don't. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't. How can you not tell? Lonnie's sitting next to me. She's making faces. How can you not tell that's not Lonnie's voice? She wants to know. Inquiring minds want to know. This is Angela Janik from Ohio. And uh, we do not sound the same. <laughs> so this is, this is where she's on the wrong side of the four. Um, she's gonna have to take the cue ball and draw to all the way to the left rail and back out towards the seven. Okay, that's an error that she could not afford. That's a game given away right there. Uh, she about made it. I mean, she can make. She could have made the six from there. She wanted to actually come out a bit more. 
Oh, they think we do sound alike. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we do have lower female voices. We definitely don't have high-pitched voices. Maybe that's what it is. This is my morning voice. Although I've had two cups of coffee. Yes. Ohio. Go Buckeyes. Oh. <laughs> Lonnie's going to sh shoot me. <laughs> As you all know, uh, Michigan and Ohio, not like rivals or anything like that. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> No, not hail. Go away, Lonnie. <laughs> really nicely done there. I think she's, yeah, she, even if she has a tiny angle here on the eight, she can pinch it and just hold the cue ball there. It's the best choice. Um, even if she rolls over a little bit towards the nine, that's fine to be closer to your work in that aspect. Yeah, look at that. Oh, okay, see, I knew that was going to happen. She controlled it so she didn't get too close. Okay, so that was a game given away. Christina missed the four ball, trying to get position on the six, and it's really where she was just on the wrong side of the four. And that's uh, that's how that whole thing there started. All right, so looks like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think she had a. This is game six. One ball's just hiding. the part about the game that we just we have to use our brains so much so much thought so much thought lean up on the table ponder ponder <laughs> it's going to be one of my new words ponder ponder <laughs> oh, I wondered if it was an illegal break I looked away I see the three ball down there but it's not Yeah. Might take her long to decide either. She can't see the ball at all, but apparently uh, Weiwei has a has a plan here. It's going to be a tough one because hitting the one ball on that side is going to launch the one ball down the table into open space. So. Is she kicking at it from there? She is. She's going to try to make the five. I'm doing it because the five is there. Oh, that was so close. Oh, but look at this. Oh, but look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, it works just fine. 
Not tied up on the two there. But oof. Does she see the edge? I just don't. Staring at it. Hey, Jerry, I see your question there. So yes, the microphone issue is fine. Bonnie was just taking a break to share to all of her many pool groups. So she's on her device sharing the stream since we have this match and three more up for today. So plenty of pool action to come. We These won't be, they'll be scheduled to a point, but then not where if the players are ready to go, we're not going to make them wait an hour when they're the last ones here uh, for our next scheduled match. So they might take a 15 minute break or so if the match ends early and we'll start the next one up. Right now we do have two matches going on at the same time. Um, so we'll see how they end, if they end around the same time or not. But. Christine, I got a ball in hand there due to a foul from Weiwei, so but she is left-handed, so this is not, this isn't a tough shot for her. I wouldn't have been able to do it. She wants it to slow down or go. Pick one. Pick one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she wanted to go that far. She's really, really Nice stroke, and that ball reacted quite a bit. So this is really tough. Um, she, she's really close to the ball and has a. a a significant angle. The four is all the way over on the other side of rail. It's just, it's just tough. I don't know. Oh, it's gonna leave way way. Boom! Just that little teeny bump right there left that shot open for way way. She's looking at where it's going to hit the seven ball, how it's going to hit the seven ball, because it did it did roll forward a little bit, so it is going to impact that ball. She wonder maybe wonder if she's going to use it as a stopper. Now the four ball is just in a in an ugly place right now. It's the problem ball for this particular rack. She's got low English on the ball. She's going to try to draw to the left. Look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Perfection. Absolute perfection. She did to just slightly tap the seven, but was able to control even with that tap to the seven, the speed of that cue ball to get to the four incredibly well done. So she ended up straight on the four. She opted just to make the ball, not do any extra work. She's got a back cut here on the five. Um, my issue, if I can see this, the seven doesn't go. Obviously, the eight's in the way of that pocket. And typically, you would 
you know, maybe slide over for the eight and a corner, but she's got some, looks like top English on here, and I think she's going to roll the cue ball. Uh, she's going to have to pick a different pocket for the seven. So probably going for a side or all the way. Yeah, going for the side. Oh, she, oh, she overcut that. And I'm not sure if she overcut it because she was trying to go before the seven and not impact it. Um, but she actually, she overcut that pretty, pretty big. I'm not sure if it just, um, if that, that ball swerved a little bit on her because of the English that she put on there. I can tell you that if you look at, say, for example, because Kelly Fisher and Weiwei are really good friends, the style of play, Weiwei uses an extreme amount of English compared to most players. I was watching her the other day, and it, there isn't really a shot that she um, executes without English. So I guess because the last rack um, was a little gift for Weiwei, this is gonna this is gonna flip the other way and be a little gift for Christina. Um, except for, oh, except for wait, <laughs> I'm having a moment again. I didn't realize that she was going to end up where she's at. She probably hit that, that five ball a bit too hard. I say a bit. She did. She didn't want to, to roll that far because now she's forced again with that seven ball not having a pocket that direction. So, yeah, I'm not a back cut fan on that five I think it's one of the hardest um, shots to see. Oh, she wanted to get behind that. That eight ball. Not impact the eight ball, unless she was really trying for a carom, but I highly doubt that that, because she'd have hit it harder. The seven would have gone straight down table and just frozen on the rail there. Nice. Needs that ball to hold. Very nice. Well done. It's a great shot. Let's see if we can tell. Yeah, it's not in the pocket. So she has to, um, I mean, if you hit this full, you're just going to hammer it into the rail. So she's got to make sure to, to hit it clean on the left side there. But it shouldn't be difficult to... Uh, to get onto the onto the nine ball. It's just a matter of controlling the speed. Again, like I said, English, she used inside. She always does 50 yard line. Oh dear, that's exactly the 50 yard line. Dead center, baby. Um, either a little, little softer or a little harder would have been preferred. Wow, what a great shot. Well done. Oh, Christina, she's had two errors. Uh, one on the four ball there and then one on that three ball that she's missed. So she's going to walk out and take a little player break. So we'll be back in just a second.
We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I still got to update a score here. I pushed the button, but I didn't click one extra button. Y'all not keeping track of me or what? So let's see if that uh, player break is going to kind of reset Christina here. So they are in a shot clock, just so you know. There's a 40 second shot clock and a 60 seconds after the break and then 40 seconds, which is pretty much the consensus of what all of the professional lady players prefer. I know Al, um, Kelly was on a stream doing some commentary a few weeks ago and talking about it. And she, Kelly Fisher is not a big fan of the 30 seconds. She said it really takes away from the talent and showcasing the players when they're just one stroking and racing through a shot. Um, so she asked for them to change it to 40 seconds, um, which is not really not a whole lot of promoters that don't listen to Kelly Fisher when she asks for something. So um, we already had it at 40 seconds, so I know she really likes it, but they get, they're on a shot clock and they get uh, 40 seconds for each shot, one extension per game, unless it's Hill Hill and then each player gets two extensions. kind of angle she's got <laughs> just a uh, hair that's just a hair So she's really going to have to be careful here. She's she's looking at it intently. If she's going to just thin that. Big, oh, she's got her jump cue out. Can't see the top of her there. She's going high in the sky trying to put that one ball on the side. Or the corner, one or the other. Oh, she made it. Is she going to get shape? She did. What a shot. That was phenomenal. She made that ball beautifully and uh, got rewarded greatly with, with shape on the two. Let's see if we can tell the angle there. Looks good. Looks like a good angle to maneuver out here for the four. What a great shot. Weiwei said, yeah, I, I get it. You uh, gave me a spot there, but I'm, I'm going to keep control of this. She hit that two ball too hard, though. I think she was a little excited over her fantastic jump shot, which is kind of always the thing. We always do some, we do a great shot, and then we the next one's an easier one, and then we mess it up. But we're just happy about the great one. So she is queuing over a ball. So number one difficulty. Number two, she's got to move this cue ball significantly to get back onto the five. So, yes, that was. She made that look just simple and easy. That's one of the hardest shots in pool, queuing over another ball. So impressive. Nice. Wants it to go out just a little bit farther. Very good. So she's going to put a little high English on this. Probably put a little English on there because that's what Weiwei does. Other than high, spin it just a little bit. Yep, she put a little inside on there, as you can see, it tracked towards the seven. So a bit of inside or her right-hand English shooting that ball. She's got a good angle in the seven here to use some, actually the natural tangent line of this shot uh, based on this angle is going to come right out for the eight ball. But she wants to make sure she gets on either one side or the other, whichever she prefers. You don't want to be straight in on the eight ball, that's a nightmare. So track and go past, just like that. Nicely done. Nice little angle. Very good. Yeah, wow. I love the wows. That jump shot was great. Can you say, again, highlight reel?
draw one just straight back. Little angle, non-issue for Weiwei. I have to kind of kick her leg out there and reach a little bit. Nicely done. She's taking a commanding lead here, five to two over Christina. So this is a, an elimination match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. That's just no fun right there. Made a ball, legal break, one ball, got a bumpity bump, and it's stuck down there behind the five. Or the four. It's the four, yeah. Didn't want to come out. I wonder if she's going to actually try to play safe here, because she can, I think, thin, I mean, not can, she can thin the one ball. Yeah, so she's not going to push, she's going to thin it and try to bring that cue ball all the way back here and hide it behind traffic. So far, of a shot, you really want to make sure you hit it thin, you don't want to miss it. So this is, I mean, I just think from so far away these shots are so difficult to execute. Oh, she hit it full. Oh, she's got a plan plan. Are you, you know, she doesn't like it. She's leaning. Yeah, she didn't like it. She was leaning. She knew it wasn't quite where she wanted to be. Thank you, Lonnie, for helping with my buttons. <laughs> Lonnie's over here pushing all the buttons. Like, dude, I can't see. That's what she just did. She's like, dude, I can't see. I gotta push this button. Where's it going? Lonnie has a passion for pool like no other. Ooh, she overcut that. She overcut that quite a bit. I think the two ball makes it past the eight. Yeah, I just don't. Ooh, 
Wow. That can't be what she was trying to do. I don't know what she was trying to do. That wasn't it, though. Hit that too hard, Christina. Too hard. Okay. I don't like an offensive choice here because of where the 2 8 is. I still think she's going to keep continue with the defensive game right now. There's no point in. in you know, banking a one ball, for example, if you can't make it to the two. So she's, she was just kind of aiming up the track of the cue ball. She thins this and puts it up here. Nicely done. Great choice. Good speed control. She's she's going for a jump pretty pretty far. Those balls are down there a bit. She definitely got over the balls. No problem. <laughs> Lonnie says, I did that this week. <laughs> got over the ball. Just missed the other one. <laughs> like, oh wait, was I supposed to hit the next ball? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I made a jump shot this tournament. It was a, a side pocket, I think, yeah. It was like a way, way jump there. It was a side pocket shot. Probably about a foot away. It was a good one. I forgot about that. And I'm normally not very good at those. <laughs> not consistent enough, anyway. All right, she's good. She's good. That was very good. Really nice, actually. And I'm not sure what the angle exactly is like. She's in the way. Uh, yep. Way, way, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way, way, way. Yeah, I can't tell if it's so really straight or not. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Get, 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 get. Get, 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 get. Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. Except maybe she might be queuing over that four ball. Yeah, a little bit. That's not the good part right there. Well, it doesn't want to be queuing over a ball. It just changes so much of how the cue ball reacts. Yeah, see, that's just tough. It's going to nick. Oh, it's not. Oh, it was close, though. Oof. I think she can get to it without a problem. So, yeah, this is, I, I'm not a, oh, wait, 
she's playing safe. She's going to try to keep the cue ball behind the six and seven. Yeah, she got it. So not only she get the four ball on the rail, but that cue ball is close to the six where it limits the options that Weiwei has to impact this ball. It is far enough away from the pocket she can thin it on its on the left side or our right side. Um, she's decided what she's doing here. Lonnie's breaking up sentences at this point. Really, I don't really sure what the options were for that. Accidentally, accidentally. Hmm. I don't know if it's, spelled right. I, it's probably the way that I just said it. She's like, did I spell that right? Does anybody know if she spelled accidentally, or is it accidentally? <laughs> I'm gonna mess everybody up. Be like, it's gonna be a spelling bee here in a second. Oops. <laughs> Keyboard warrior. <laughs> Yeah, you just wait. The next, um, Lonnie's just chilling here with me, but the next stream, which is our hot seat match between the Fisher Twins, we will both be on the mic and torturing you all together. So this is, uh, it's a good opportunity here for Christina to kind of close the gap. She's got to execute this, come out really close to that side pocket. <laughs> Made me nervous. That ball also kind of, uh, and she undercut it. Um, she didn't undercut it enough to miss it, but she undercut it. Calm down, Lonnie. Lonnie, calm down. Mark says she got oops correct. So, she doesn't mind, Christina doesn't mind drawing this. Oh, that's a lot. But that's okay. I don't think she's really settled into this match yet. She played uh, phenomenal yesterday. Uh, the match I was watching, not the one with Sal, but a different one. And I, uh, I just don't think she's really settled into this one. <laughs> Lonnie, you're making it very difficult for me to be professional right now. That was a much, much better ex uh, execution there on that seven. Nice and clean. That one was going to fall no matter what. So you know you have Christina Zlativa and Wei Chen, and you have Margaret Fefalova and Christina Tkach. Two of those four are going home after this ma of this time slot here. So I want to see them um, go. They're such phenomenal players. But yeah, with the Fisher twins are sitting in the hot seat, waiting for these ladies to battle it out. And uh, yeah, I agree. Allison, Allison is playing phenomenal. I, I just. I mean, she always plays well, but she's brought her A game to this event, no doubt. And um, the m match I watched her play last night, I was just in awe. Her break is phenomenal, she, the consistency, just all of it. So I really, uh, I think Allison's coming into this event pretty strong. So Christina needed that rack. <laughs> she desperately needed that rack. She got it. So. Uh, she could use one more here. It's her break. She could use a break and run. Get this match five to four. Let's see if she can. See if she can close that gap. Is that seven ball going to go? Look at it, it's just spinning in the pocket right there. 
Oh my gosh, it was literally just, it's stuck up against the inside rail, that side pocket just spinning. So, great break, powerful break, incredibly powerful break. Um, but the one ball, again, is being not friendly. Um, yeah, Lonnie and I are looking at this and thinking, what if? Is she looking, is she going to look at the nine ball? Is there a two-way shot here where she can go for the carom, but if she misses it, leave it safe? Or is she just going to play safe? Oh, but wait, wait, speed, speed, speed's going to get her, it's going to get her, I'm telling you, it's going to get her, it's going to get her. See, it got her. <laughs> Golly. Oh. She, ha she, you know, she, less speed. Less speed. Slide, slide the, maybe in a little more angle, just slide over, but, boy, it's amazing how if you just hit it, just a ball just a little bit too hard, or in this case, a little bit too soft, which she's still fine, but makes just a big difference on the shot. This game is just millimeters. Minuscule little <laughs> millimeters. Lots of M words there. So, Weiwei feels comfortable. She's not, she just, when she sees a shot like this, she's down on the ball. She's eyeing it up and just going from one to the next. And she's not over stroking, if anything. She's not really under stroking either, but she's just, she's not going past the shots very far. She's preferring just to, just to get there. So she's, she's not shooting. Um, these balls are really hard. She's just kind of relaxed and just letting them go. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to think here, but um, this is one of those that Wei Wei probably is going to use a little bit of, yeah, there she goes. She cue into the left, inside English. Loves her English. And I try to hold the ball. And that's a, a Love tap right there. She will take it. The great thing, two things about that love tap. She can see the five, but now she's got a more angle on the five to pop out for the six, seven, eight, eight to nine. Eight to nine is the shot. But where the seven is, you can kind of roll that and control. I would rather kind of take a back cut on the eight and go around the table versus drawing back. Um, just because you can control, I think, a, a follow or forward shot much better than a draw shot, but just depends on what she prefers. Kelly would probably draw the ball. I'm just doing some stop shots here. Nicely done. So, our match next door, and yeah, she's going to draw out of it, see? Our match next door, uh, Christina Tagach is on the hill against Margaret Fefalova, so tough match going on over there. Okay, so she chose to draw out of it. Actually, it wasn't. She really sets the side. She's not overstroking. Just nice. Actually, this, I think it's that the speed is just consistent. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Weiwei's speed on every shot seems to be the same, which is a great thing. That means game's won. Um, same speed back, same speed forward, just in every shot the same. Because um, consistency equals wins, and I really think that's what I'm kind of trying to articulate here. And she's really comfortable in doing, executing that really well. And she's leading 6-3, to three, so um, we could very potentially have uh, a B-side final. Um, so the winners of the B-side be between the way that it's tracking, Wei Su Chen, and Christina Takach. I'm a huge fan of every single lady. The six players that are left on the floor today. <laughs> I do fangirl still. I do. Can't help it. I'm ranked 26th and I just can't. They're so, they're so amazing. So um, I do have my preference though. <laughs> Who I want to win. Somebody asked Lonnie her favorite yesterday and she had a hard time answering. 
There's too much to choose from, right? That's what, see, that's that's what she said. They're all great, just in different ways. I agree wholeheartedly. And she's going to, is the four ball going to get in the game? What is going on? How can they have such good breaks and then that's, that's what they're left with? It seems a little slightly unfair. So while Wei Wei figures out where she's going to push here, uh, Christina Takach is currently shooting on this rack where she's on the hill. Trying to figure out what, uh, what ball she's on. She's on the sixth ball. Six, seven, eight, nine to go. Oh, but she has a tough combo here. She's got a combo that she's got to make on the 7-8. Uh, the 8's just tied up right behind, yeah. I don't know what angle that is. I can't tell I'm on the opposite side, but she's got three balls left. So Weiwei's picked a spot here. I think she wanted to leave that cue ball on the rail, preferably. So didn't quite get there. Um, I really think she gave Christina a shot here. So Christina Tukach is down on the ball shooting the 7-8 combo. And she made it. And she has a shot on the 7. Fantastically played, actually. That was a great shot. She, uh, she hit that with some great speed control to launch the 7 back out in the center of the table, and she's got a shot on it into the side pocket, and then the eights over here on the rail. So, so Christina, as I pictured there, gave, Wei Wei gave Christina Zlativa a shot. There's too many Christinas in the room, ladies. That's just, I don't know, there's just too many, too many, too many, too many. Um, did give her a shot. This, unfortunately, she's, she kind of put that 5-9 together. She's going to try and um, either I don't think it, I don't know here, I can't tell. See, I'd have shot that two ball into the nine <laughs> myself. I don't know if anyone, but I'd have, I'd have, I'd have overcut. Uh, Christina Tukach does win. She's sending Margaret uh, Fefalova Steyer home. All right, so she's got a plan here, Christina. It just looks like that nine ball is a bit farther out than the five. I don't think the combo is the same. So is she going to like a double kiss carom thing going here? So she's going to go get uh, Dane. She's going to try this, I think, as a carom and wants to make sure that uh, the tournament director is watching. Wow. Wow. It's just not, it's just not rolling her way. Puts way, way on the hill.
such a thing as getting old and hating everything. Well. Someone comes up to the booth and they're waving at me and I can't see who they are from far away and then they're picking on me because I can't see. I have my glasses on. Just like a blur coming across the floor here. So, sorry I was on the mic when they did that. I'm like, really? You're giving me a hard time? So, this is really just a tough match for Christina. She's really not gotten to the swing of things and things honestly just haven't been going her way. That was a beautiful carom. The ball just got to the um, shelf and sat there and it was an easy uh, draw back to the nine for a way way to put herself on the hill and she's just had some unfortunate um, she's had two um, errors uh, one on a three ball one on a four um, and she's had a few safety errors um, unforced errors that uh, that have kind of put her a little bit in this position you can't afford to to do those um, and that can swing pretty wide and just a couple mistakes and as you can see it's 7-3 um, Christina is such a phenomenal player just a just that I mean we're, we're at perfection here it's uh, one mistake can cost you a match which is crazy to think about I remember when I played Kelly Fisher um, actually here in Iowa year about a year September of a year and a half ago and I missed a four ball, and I then I just sat after that. <laughs> um, it was her break after, and she ran that out and broke and ran the next rack, and then I broke and didn't make a ball, and I think she ran out that rack. I was just keeping the chair warm. One mistake. One mistake cost me three games, So and a dry break. So, doesn't take much. And yes, this is Angela on the mic. That's going to make it back out there, baby. I know it. It did nicely, actually. Powerful shot. I'm really confident. So we might have, uh, depending on how Weiwei uh, shoots here, we might be done. We might have a few more games either way. Uh, I'm not absolutely positive that we'll start exactly at noon for the next match with Kelly and Allison Fisher. So um, just stay tuned. Set your notifications for YouTube so, so you can be notified when we go live. Um, because if they do want to start a little early, they are both here. I see Kelly to my left and Allison to my right. So if they want to start early, we will let them. Um, just wanted to kind of give a heads up there. So keep an eye out um, for the stream to go live. We'll have the hot seat match next. Let's just gander over here. I can't tell what she's doing. She's queuing low on the ball. Where's she going here? Is she going to do a carom? Or is she? Yeah, she's going to do a carom into the eight. Draw out of it. 
Just keep the cue ball away from the pocket, just like that. Oh, oh, the cue ball's behind. Oh, good, 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 good. Nice. Look at that. So she did that, executed that, and got the cue ball all the way out to the center of the table. So that she, no matter where the six went, she had a shot. That was so well played right there. It was beautiful speed control. Excellent accuracy. She hit the eight ball nice and square and get in. Launched that cue ball away from the pocket. It was incredibly well done. She's just going to draw just a little bit out of here. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Wants to make sure to leave herself an angle. I think she's got it. Yep, definitely got a nice angle to the, hit the right side of that seven ball and come up here for the nine. She's going to come up to where the chalk actually is sitting on the table right now. Oh, no, she decided to go the other way. Look at the spin. See, that's a difference in style. Um, <laughs> way, way just spins everything. All she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to uh, Weiwei. So big shout out to our sponsors. You can see on the screen, I was going to go ahead and wait for Dean to stop talking there so I could confirm and let everybody know we are going to start our noon match early. So stay tuned, um, set for notifications so you know when we go live. Kelly just uh, came into the room. She's going to warm up for a little bit and we'll begin a little early, probably about 15 or 20 minutes. So take a look at the screen here. I want to say thanks and big shout out to our sponsors, our big ones, Diamond, Aramith, and Simonis. Also a huge shout out to Mad Hatter Billiards, who's been great while we've been here. Jam Up Apparel. Um, the city of Fairfield, they've been wonderful hosts to us uh, while we've been here. Uh, thank you, a big shout to Corby, uh, Servitude Photography, who's been uh, taking a lot of great photos of the ladies this week. You'll probably see those on social media soon. He's been doing a great job. So give it about 15, 20 minutes, and we're going to be back. Thanks so much, everybody.